As the standoff between Texas and the federal government intensifies in the small town of Eagle Pass, the state is continuing to build razor wire fences. With support from former U.S. President Donald Trump, the Lone Star State is not backing down. Our border has become a weapon of mass destruction, our destruction. You know, it's our, it's, it's a weapon of mass destruction. Nobody to this day can explain why this open wound is good for our country. But we're going to seal the border, complete it, and we're going to repeal the invasion. Arrests for illegal border crossings from Mexico reached an all-time high in December. This could hurt President Joe Biden's re-election bid and help Trump, who has made fighting illegal immigration a hallmark of his campaign. I'm here in Shelby Park, which has become the epicenter of the U.S.-Mexican border crisis. Texas Governor Greg Abbott has refused to let federal officials enter the park, which is situated along the border. The park has turned into a battleground between the Biden administration and Governor Greg Abbott. After the Texas military department seized Shelby Park, two children and a mother drowned in the Rio Grande. Democratic leaders have accused Texas officials of blocking federal officers from helping them. And I've been very clear about this, um, uh, that this governor has done over and over again, is uh, treated this, this uh, situation that we're seeing uh, at the border in an inhumane way. Uh, it is uh, atrocious of the, the actions that he decides to take. He, ta he takes this, instead of dealing with this issue in a way uh, that we can get to a, a resolution or working together, uh, he turns it into, uh, uh, you know, he turns it into a political stunt. But the Texas governor has the backing of almost all Republicans in Congress and the Republican Governors Association who want him to remain firm against the Biden administration. But I want to say a special thank you and salute to Texas. You have borne the brunt of this, and we, we will not let you down. Accountability is coming, I promise. Now, there are new concerns that the situation will escalate even further. The Take Our Border Back convoy made up of right-wing groups protesting Biden's immigration policies is expected to arrive in Eagle Pass on Saturday. It is not clear what the group plans to do once they reach the border. Martin Markovitz, TRT World, Eagle Pass, Texas.